Managing Office 365 Identities and Requirements Exam Question number 2. A company deploys an Office 365 tenant. You prepare to use the bulk add tool to add users to Office 365. You need to prepare a file to use with the bulk add tool. Which fields must you include in the file? To answer, drag the appropriate response to each field. Each response may be used once, more than once, or not at all. You may need to drag the split bar between panes or scroll to view content. Correct answer. Question number 3. You are the Office 365 administrator for your company. The company synchronizes the local Active Directory objects with a central identity management system. The environment has the following characteristics. Each department has its own organizational unit, OU. The company has OU hierarchies for partner user accounts. All user accounts are maintained by the identity management system. You need to ensure that partner accounts are not synchronized with Office 365. What should you do? A. Configure OU-based filtering by using the Windows Azure Active Directory Sync tool. B. In the Windows Azure Active Directory portal, configure OU-based filtering. C. Configure user attribute-based filtering by using the Windows Azure Active Directory Sync tool. D. In the Windows Azure Active Directory portal, configure user attribute-based filtering. Correct answer, A. Explanation. Company has OU hierarchies for partner user accounts so OU-based filtering should be fine. Question number 7. You administer the Office 365 environment for a company that has offices around the world. All of the offices use the same Office 365 tenant. You need to ensure that all users can access the services that are available in their regions. Which setting or service should you update? A. User location settings. B. User licenses. C. Service usage address. D. Rights management. Correct answer, A. Question number 9. Your company has a hybrid deployment of Office 365. You need to verify whether free, busy information sharing with external users is configured. Which Windows PowerShell commandlet should you use? A. Test Outlook Connectivity. B. Test Federation Trust. C. Get Organization Relationship. D. Get MSOL Domain Federation Settings. Correct answer, C. Question number 11. An organization plans to deploy Exchange Online. You must support all Exchange Online features. You need to create the required DNS entries. Which two DNS entries should you create? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A, A. B, SRV. C, MX. D, C name. Correct answer. C, D.